let's get into the next section here where we're talking about uh, the different types of marketing that you could excel in and which field should you look at. So let me just list off a couple of different options for marketing because what I don't want you to do is go out and try to be what we call a jack of all trades where in your first marketing agency, you try to sell a dozen different services and you basically end up half-assing all of them and not being an expert in any one of those fields. So what you want to do is obsess over one specific field and become the best at that. Sell that as a service. And then later on down the road, you can add other services. But here's some different fields that are very, very profitable in the marketing industry. Okay. So the first one that a lot of people think of is social media. So social media marketing, running uh, accounts for businesses. This could be running their TikTok accounts, their Instagram accounts, their Facebook page, anything along those lines. This is a pretty straightforward business. It's also pretty competitive because there's a lot of people who offer to do that for businesses in your local area or any other type of companies. But it's one that's pretty straightforward and most people can do this without a lot of training. And so that's beneficial to you that you don't have to spend a lot of time learning how to create content. But also, like I said, there's gonna be a lot more competition with that as well. So social media marketing, basically getting clients, this could be, you know, the local ice cream shop in your area, you have them on retainer for $500 a month, and you do a certain amount of posts for them per month, and you have packages and you run their accounts for them. I just made up that number there 500. It's it's there's a lot of factors that go into the equation there. The other thing you could potentially do is paid ads. So paid ads is one that Mike and I really started with in this one that we found to be the most successful for us. Now, running paid ads for companies is something that not everyone can do, and that's why we liked it. Basically, you can charge retainer. You can also charge fees on top of you know the amount of ad spend that you're running for the company. So if you're running a million dollars a year in ads for the company, you can take a chunk of that ad spend for your services. Learning how to run paid ads can be a little bit of a learning curve. Luckily, we have videos on this channel showing you how to run ads on Facebook, on Instagram, on Google on LinkedIn, like we have all these different ads videos that you can watch and kind of get some of the basics of, of how to run ads. But that's a field that is really, really interesting. Uh, another one is search engine optimization. So you could start an entire company helping other companies with something called SEO. And this is basically helping companies to rank at the top of Google or other platforms rank number one for certain terms. So like when someone goes onto Google and they type in plumber in Philadelphia, if you can help a company rank on Google number one for plumber in Philadelphia, literally that Google term is worth thousands of dollars per month. And so you could charge them hundreds of dollars per month at a minimum just for that service alone for helping them rank on Google. So you can make a whole company out of that. Uh, another one is something like email marketing. There are email marketing marketing agencies that will help companies to run their email lists. You could do this once again for local businesses in your area. In one of the sections coming up, we'll talk about like potential clients and how to target them. But running email marketing is super profitable as an agency. So you could do this for influencers as well. You could run their newsletter. There's a lot of different routes you could take with this on email marketing, but basically becoming an expert in that field of email, running drip campaigns, lead magnets. There's, there's a lot that you could go into there with that. Another type of agency is something that's focused on web development. So if you understand how to build websites or design websites, uh, everyone needs a website, uh, including you for your own agency. And so if that's a skill that you have, this can be very profitable. Other things, public relations, right? A lot of influencers, a lot of famous people, they have PR teams. They pay them quite a bit of money for PR. We have graphic design. This is a field that I'm not very well skilled in is graphic design, but there are design agencies. Think about any product that you've ever purchased. It was probably drafted up by a design agency. So think about like Logan Paul with Prime, right? This drink that he launched a few years ago. I'm sure a design agency made a lot of money designing the bottle, designing the logo, everything else and all the art around it. And that was an agency that I'm sure they hired for many, many thousands of dollars, at least tens of thousands, I would assume for that service. And then the other area of marketing that you can go into, which is probably my favorite, um, is going to be specifically studying an algorithm, a specific algorithm uh, for social platforms. So for example, I know a guy who obsessed over the YouTube algorithm. He understood everything there is to know about what makes a YouTube video go viral. And then because he was the guy and he just like lived and breathed YouTube every day, 12 hours a day, studied the YouTube algorithm and figured out what makes a great video. Now, massive companies pay him 
tons of money, like tens of thousands of dollars per month for his advice on YouTube and how to make thumbnails and how to create viral videos. Even people like Mr. Beast go to this guy for advice. I shouldn't name his name, but they go to him for advice on how to create really great videos. And that's because he just focused on one specific thing. So what I want you to take away from this section here is that pick one of these, and there are other avenues as well. You can even do like physical mail, marketing, like there's a lot of different types of marketing, but pick one from this list or from some other lists that you can search on Google and find one that you really think you have some potential to understand and to be pretty decent at, and then spend all of your time obsessing over that one field. Okay.